Hi guys, in this video I'm going to discuss the select command in uh, SQL databases. What I have here is an SQLite database with the Formula 1 data, specifically constructors and drivers in Formula 1. And uh, here's the data. Uh, these are the constructors and these are the drivers. Right now we're going to start using SQL to get certain data out of these tables. So let me start first of all select it is first of all it is sort of a convention to uh, write SQL commands in all caps makes the code easier to read and especially if you combine SQL with other programming languages let, let's say you're calling you're using Python or PHP or C to call uh, SQL uh, uh, having SQL code uh, written in all caps is very helpful in readability because this way you can you know uh, segregate the SQL code from the you know C or Python or whatever code uh, you know you can segregate or easily segre mentally segregate these codes from each other um, the way we start with select is uh, this is select now I can select all fields regardless of what they're called so I just star and then from and then I need a table name while well, I've got drivers that's the one table and now oh and by the way the sql code i'm showing here is valid for all sql databases not just for sql lite so you can use exactly that same code in um, in sql server in postgres in mysql and obviously in sql lite and if i run that or press f5 i would get all the data in the in the table drivers now i can also uh, specify specific or, uh, or fix specific fields that I wish to display let's say I'm just in interested in forename and surname so I just you know take off the star and then put in forename and surname and I would have these uh, also the sequence the way you put them I mean in the table there are uh, uh, first the, you have the forename and then the surname but in your query it does the sequence doesn't matter so for instance I can have surname I can have nation, I can have ID and then forename and that would be then represented. Uh, did I make a mistake here? Oh, uh, it's nationality, not nation. Right. So and if I run that, then you'd see like the sequence doesn't matter. I mean, you can you can sequence your query the way you want you don't have to um, you know um, take into account the way the fields are in the table they don't matter right um, one can also add the table name to the field so for instance I can say like drivers dot surname I can say drivers dot nationality and I can say uh, drivers dot ID and drivers dot forename now that would work as well that would be helpful later on if we do like if we work with joins if we work with multiple table if our query uh, requires multiple tables or joins then that feature would be helpful because this way you know where that field is coming from you know from that table because often you have in tables in many tables you often have fields with the same name let's say id a lot of tables use the same field id and so in this case you want to differentiate like oh this id comes from drivers and doesn't come from i don't know constructors or whatever right now uh, that's one way of writing things you can also write the uh, the table and field names within uh, brackets uh, that is valid uh, However, you've got the C here, uh, it depends on your package, on your SQL database. For instance, I know this is valid in uh, SQL Server, uh, whereas I think, if I'm not mistaken, Postgres would uh, require you to put the field names within quotation uh, or quotes. And th that, I, if I'm not mistaken, I don't know if that works in SQL Server, uh, but uh, you know you've got to see if that works but it doesn't matter how you do it like you can write your table or field names like that or like that or like that and if it doesn't work in your package be it MySQL or SQL Server or Postgres just you know check the documentation what they require and then you have it I mean it's got to be one of these uh, three things 
and um, yeah and obviously if you're just working with one table so uh, you know you don't need the uh, uh, all your data from one table obviously you don't need to you know uh, append the, the, the table name to the field so you just take it off and you can obviously also uh, enclose that into either uh, brackets or quotation marks or whatever it doesn't matter so you know i'm just giving here all the options and you see here in sqlite all all work if i call that query you know uh, does the same thing so uh, sqlite takes all of them uh, you can check your own package uh, whether that you know it, whether it takes all of them and then you know just uh, you know pick your preference and then stick to it basically right now, uh, let's take another example. Let's say I'm interested in nationalities. And uh, these are all the nationalities in there. And I have like 848 because I have like 848 drivers in the database. Now, I would like to know, like, you know, from which nations do, did have all drivers hailed uh, in Formula One? For instance, now here the problem is like I have British and then... Uh, or let's take here German and then again German and another guy is German you know I would like to just see the unique values like not three German but like one German okay so I know like Germany has been represented uh, France and so on how do I do that well there's a keyword distinct distinct reduces your data set to unique values this tint and you see now instead of 848 we have 41 so I can say like all Formula One drivers throughout history have all hailed from 41 countries. Okay, and that's 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 the that's the effect of the distinct uh, keyword. There's another thing. Let's say if I take like four name. Oops. And run that. So now I have here again 848 four names because we got as many drivers. Now if I want to know, you know, what kind of four names are represented in, in Formula 1, again I can then use the keyword distinct. And there you go, 469. So these are the 469 unique four names represented in Formula 1. So and that's the sort of stuff you can do with the select command uh, in, uh, in SQL databases. And remember, all what I've shown you here is valid across all SQL databases.